Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at the power efficiency of the S19J Pro Plus 100 terahash and 120 terahash models when they're running in low power mode. I have an APC PDU which I'm going to use to measure the power consumption and I've got a grow tent and inside of that grow tent I've got a uh, 120 terahash S19J Pro and 100 terahash S19J Pro. This is the 100 terahash S19 that's currently in low power mode and it's currently sitting or averaging around 78,348 terahash. This is the second ASIC, it's also in low power mode. It's the 120 terahash model and it's currently doing averaging 93,722 terahash. The APC PDU is currently reporting the line voltage is 239 volts. First ASIC, the 100 terahash unit is plugged into Bank 1. Now Bank 1 has a few other things plugged into it as well, but when I turn everything off, the load on that drops to 0.6 amps. So we need to deduct 0.6 amps from the current load. So 9.3 less 0.6 means 8.7 amps is being used by the 100 terahash ASIC. The 120 terahash ASIC is plugged into bank two. There's nothing else in bank two, so that's 10.2 amps being used by it. If we plug all of those numbers into a spreadsheet, the hash rate, voltage, current, power is just volts times current. We get an efficiency for the 120 hash terahash unit of 26.0 and the 100 terahash 26.5. Those extra newer chips in the 100 terahash are slightly more efficient. If we can compare that 26.0 to the numbers published on Bitmain's site for the full power of 27.5, the efficiency has improved by nearly 5.5%. So if you're looking for some numbers to help you decide which one of the S19s to go for, I hope that was useful. I'm going to leave some videos around my head and hopefully there'll be some other stuff you'll like to watch.